And then we'll make a slide after this. Or a bunch of slides. Slides are always fun. Balloon coasters and RCT was always challenging for me, says Miggy. Uh, I agree. I mean, building coasters in any game is challenging. Coasters are complicated. Okay, we're building the uh, looping corkscrew. Which way do I want my lift? I think I want my station here. No, I want my station closer to here. Like right there. And then we could wrap it back in through here. And then we have all this back area to work with. Now, I want to fit a lot of trains on here for the throughput. I'm not very good at block sections in, in RCT. Um, I don't remember or understand it nearly as well as Planet Coaster. Do they even have block sections? I don't think they do. Block breaks. They do. So if I put block breaks midway, I would probably be able to put an extra train on. Is that right? That's complicated in this game for some reason. Why did my music stop? Oh, I'm just away from everything. Just got awkwardly quiet. Okay. Is this how I want to do it? There we go. Let's see what we have. Helix up, helix down. Loops. I would like to try to get the coaster to loop through itself. Is that too high, you think? I could always do a second lift. Let me try this. See, I, always, I always have this problem with like, oh, I, it needs to be big. It needs to go big. But in, in theory, that's how you always end up getting these like ultra extreme coasters. In this game, at least. Because I, I could take it pretty easy and then get like a second lift in if necessary. Because I'm just thinking like... That should be enough to get over a loop, right? Maybe not. No. Not at all. Okay. I had it I had the right idea. Cause it's eleven meters high. How big's the loop? See I, I just I think I I feel like I need a better drop than that. And I've kind of uh, stuffed myself into a wall here. Oh, that works. Ish. Can we get ourselves out of this? Seven. That'll give you some nice air time, I think. And this is where we go into our loop. Loop. All right. We can do block sections. For a second train, you need at least two block sections or a 
a long train. Why isn't that helix work? Helix up. Oh, it's helixing into that. Or, or, oh. Go into a small one. There we go. That's looking like something. I'll take it. I wanted to try to pass through the loop. I don't know if I can pull that off. Oh, we're running out of money. Why did we just drop into the negative? Oh! Look at us. Nope, hitting that. Nope. Nope. Bank it. I wonder if I could helix that. That's a little weird. That gives bonus on excitement. Oh, thanks. I don't think we could get another loop off that speed, though, can we? It's probably, like, barely going to make it over that. What if it doesn't make it over that? That looks almost as high as that. Are we going to do this? I think what I should try to do is just close the coaster or, uh, like, get it back just so I can test. Because you can't actually pre-test these things. And it's... Better to like see how it does this because in theory it looks okay. Oh, what? We're running out of money. Oh, I had it. Okay, let's just. Um... Test it. Don't think so. You could probably do a small helix. Well, you always say what I'm typing as I'm typing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring the track to the station now. I mean, I hope it makes it over that. I didn't want to go too extreme. Oh... That was loud. But enjoyable. <laughs> you know what the fix is? I think I got a better a solution. We moved the boarding station back. And basically start the lift here. And now. This can all remain the same. But we get a bigger drop. I think in theory that should work. Why didn't that work? Oh, 
thought I had the right idea with this. Why is it slightly off? I see. Unless I go this high, which is too much, I have to do this, this, that, and bam. Okay. And now we can bring that back in. Nailed it. Entrance. Exit. Oh, yeah. And you want the entrance here because then it loads them up quicker. So we learn from our uh, mistake with the little boat ride. God damn, I almost feel like we need to fix that. Because it's still freaking backed up. That should fix it, right? That That's going to be better. Your train's booped, oof, then exploded. Can increase the chain lift speed. Oh yeah, that does speed things up. It does give it a bit of a more, a more of a push. That should make it, though. Ooh. Not by much. We moved it back two meters. Oh, but now, now this is looking like a pretty decent coaster. Not bad. You know what would be better if this was a second helix? Wouldn't it be? A large helix instead of a a jank. What do we get for the rating here? Just to see if we're off to a good start or not. This should give us our rating. Excitement rating high. It's pretty good. Let's make it better. I, I want to see if I can do one thing here. If I can do... Instead of this piece... Oh, the helix is a full three... Never mind. Uh, there's no undo button. Okay, I think I know how this was, though. Oh, wait. This would be better. That looks cleaner. That looks much cleaner. Oh, that's what I was kind of going for. Nice. All right. Well, let's just design the back half of this coaster. I almost feel like we need a block section somewhere, too, because this, this is a lot of space to build a coaster. And then we can get multiple trains. So we go up and down and around and through here. But you, if you do a block section, you don't want to crash. So, But at the top of another lift would be where you would want it. So let's just uh, play with this a little bit more. Second lift somewhere around here would be good. But where do I want to take this from here? I do I wouldn't mind like one last helix through here. Let's bring it all the way down. Can I even do a steep drop from here? Yes, yeah, so we'll do a steep drop and we'll concave the ground. An underground dip. That's cool. Sorry if you hear that thump thump thumping. I don't they're working on something upstairs. Slightly annoying. Not much I can do. Can I go up and around from here if I do this? What's that hitting? Why does that not work? Oh, is it hitting the track? Mm-hmm. 
Damn. I like where that's going, but it's it's kind of maybe what I'll do is just bank it through here. Bring this whole area down. And then we can find our way back up from here. It's fine. Can I helix from here? If I brought this down, no, then that would bring me back around one more. Yeah, we're just backing ourselves into this corner. We got to get out. We got to get out of here. But there's that little bit of a jank there. So I think I have to just keep going with it. There we go. We're out. It's a hard banking turn, at least. Mm -hmm. We'll just make it a little fun airtime hill. I think we can. That's a that's a plus six, so we can we can get out of here from here. Just a little. Whew, I could fix this back up. It's fine. Something like that. Good. You think we have enough speed for the helix here? Because this would be a pretty good open spot for it. I just don't know if it's enough speed. And that's the problem with this game is you can't test it until the end. It's a, such a good spot for it. Wait, why is that? Because uh, the jank. Really? Really? Oh, it's going down. That was my mistake. There we go. Think I can get over that? Bring it back and see. Bring it on home. Not high enough, says Crimson Salt. Can't you speed up the lift? I could put little lift thingies throughout, and maybe that'll give it a bit of, of a boost. I thought the Thumpied was my cat. I already got a name. Honestly, doing a sort of a dueling lift hill situation, maybe the, that's not a bad idea, having a second one go but up beside it. Let's see if it gets up this helix, first of all. It's not bad. It's not flying through there. And we could probably bring it back around for a second lift and then use some of this space. You know, this is this is looking pretty decent. We're, and we're utilizing that space. Not bad. What do you guys think?
Let's see what the ratings say. A six excitement. Ah, oh, thank you for the follow. Mad Inc. 2K. Get some love in the chat for Mad Inc. Welcome to the community. It's got a good speed going through the helix, says Blue Raspberry. Cool. Let's close this window. All the way. I didn't open it back up, Abby. I closed it. All the way. So in five minutes, if I'm opening it, <laughs> it's a different story. All right. Let's um, continue. I like this second dual lift that uh, you suggested. And we might be able to get there from here. We're in a pretty good position from this helix. I'm going to I'm going to continue the bank and then drop it down. One, two, we need four to turn around. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, that might be perfect. However, it's going to be lower because we would have to come up exactly here. And that's actually impossible unless we come up and over the boarding station. So like maybe a couple little airtime bumps just for excitement. And then a, a little lift. It will go around this. And then Can we match the height of that? Is that parallel? We're burning through a lot of cash on this. Let's see it from a different angle. That looks pretty parallel to me. Is that weird though, what I did there? Or do you guys think that that's worth it? Good morning, all good. Been following your channel for some years now. Well, thank you, Matt Inc. Now you can, uh, now you're following the Twitch channel. So welcome to the live show. You unlock bumper boats for a uh, boat for hire. Oh, sick, really? Oh, these, oh, what the heck? They're all jammed up. How did that happen? Let's close it down and edit it. For some reason, they got all jammed up there. We're gonna have to extend it a little bit. And uh, we might as well fix the freaking queue while we're at it. But we'll go back to the coaster in just a sec. We're gonna have to move the entrance to here though, because of this path jank. Which means the queue will be slightly smaller, but it's all good. Well, in theory, I could go like this. Or is that how I had it before? I can't remember now. They're breaking benches, little bastards. And uh, somebody said something about the skin. Wait, how do we change the skin? You unlock bumper boats for the boat hire ride. Did I really? 
New log trim, log flume. New ride available, bumper boats. Oh no, I don't think it's a modification. It's an entirely new ride, which is strange. Oh well, we fixed our boat problem and they were all jammed up, so it wasn't all for nothing. But we can add more bumper boats over here now and like some of the other ones. We'll do water rides all the way around and really utilize that lake while still utilizing the center. The lake's gonna look awesome when we're done. But I think that's quite nice. Vandal ha vandalism happens from dirty paths. Yeah, our, our paths are pretty clean though. And we've done a pretty good job with uh, security. But maybe not good enough. There's just a couple broken benches. Maybe we don't have um, enough janitors over here. I don't think I have any. Oh, well, we could double up. Doesn't hurt to have another. It's a pretty popular area now. With all the puke there, too. All right. Thought they were the same. I bet no. You, you, you. I, I, I would have made the same mistake when you said that. I was like, oh yeah, that is an addition for sure. But uh, speaking of which, we should probably check up on our research and change it to something else because I've been just had it on water rides this whole time. Scenery and theory. Because see, I, I remember there was one that was called like ride alterations or something. Do you guys remember that? There was some sort of thing that you could research called like ride extensions or something. And it would give you like all these different cars and things. Enchanted Castle still hasn't been fixed. Are you kidding me? I only have two, two mechanics. And I remember oh, I'd always research that. There's something definitely different about this version of the game. Let's go back to thrill rides, gentle rides, and shops and stalls. And, um, yeah, I think that's good. Game logic? Is that what it was called? Wait. Why'd you say game logic? I've never been so upset in a park that I felt I had to destroy a bench. Game logic. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Freaking park. Breaking benches. Okay. Let's continue our coaster. I'm liking where this is going. Now we got to bring it around this way and utilize some of that space. Or, no, I don't want to overdo it. I was going to say, like, we could come down and up through here and maybe do a loop. But that will never utilize this space. So... Can we get it down through here? No, the helix is in our way. We're going to need a gentle. Gentle. Yeah, barely getting out of there. Woo! Woo-wee! Do we go... S yeah. We're going to have to. Oh, wait a second. I might be able to jank it through here with a looping left. No! So close. Really? Can we go straight up from here? I mean, I could go like this. 